everyone. I'm Rodney. I'm here with Board Game Geek at Origins 2019. I've been joined by Tony from Arcane Wonders. Hey. And although we do have this game that we're really going to talk about, you've got something else with you hidden under the table, I think. <laughs> yes? Yeah. I just wanted to briefly uh, mention we had a great uh, announcement earlier this week about uh, Smartphone Inc. We are bringing Smartphone Inc. to the U.S. under the Dice Tower Essentials. A line. game I haven't played, but I've heard a lot about it. It seems we've gotten some pretty positive buzz. Yeah. yeah. We've, we, since the last lesson, we've been having... Uh, it's been kind of unavailable. Yeah. Um, and we're, we, we've been talking with Cosmodrome. The, the news is this, the, they're bringing Kickstarter out next month. We're helping uh, demo, show it off. Um, right. The link that they're uh, kind of passing around is uh, smartphone.cosmodrome.games. Okay. It, tell, it just gives information about kind of what's going on. I, I wanted to just briefly mention that sure. before moving on. Into, so it'll be a Kickstarter that, that people can then but yes, then uh, it will come to full retail afterwards okay. in 2020. Through so. Arcane Wonders. Yes. Understood. Okay, well, let's talk about uh, Volcanic Isle then. Okay, so Volcanic Isle, um, excuse me, is a game that we are pre releasing here at the show, and it's coming out in August. So okay. um, we have uh, some units here. It just got here, so no one really knows anything about it yes, yet. Yes, I know trying... nothing about it, but I, it's, <laughs> visually it sort of pops off the table here. We've got these little 3D elements of volcanic mountains and stuff, so I'm very curious. Can you give me a little overview of yeah, what, what's so, going on so here? So the premise of the game is that this is the lost continent of Mu, uh, better known as Easter Island. Okay. So it's ravaged with volcanic activity, Yes. and we're all settling it, and we start off in Landfall Bay. Everyone has four action points. <laughs> Everyone shows points. up and goes, I don't know if this is such a good idea, <laughs> yes. really. But let's make the best let's of it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Yes. So as we're moving in, you have action points that you can spend uh, on your turn. Yes. So you have four four action points per turn. You, right. you just use these as counters as you go ahead. Okay. So one of the action points is to move. Mm -hmm. You can uh, start the game jumping onto any of them. And the, all this lava flow is actually the resource we use to create Moai, the great, great monolithic yes. statues. Okay. Um, or villages. Okay. So it's very simple. Village takes two AP to create. A Moai takes one. Costs one to move. Mm -hmm. uh, when you move, if you create, so if, let's say I used one action point, moved here, created a Moai with an action point. You're right. I could then take a laying down Moai and move with it All right. if I wanted yeah, to. Yeah. Or I could use an action point to raise a Moai. All right. Now, raising a Moai is kind of where the crux of this game comes in. All right, how's that? When you raise the Moai, you'd gain a point because you've created a structure. Sure. Um, depending on how many things are there, it, there's a multiplier. So the more things you build in the same area, the more points it Better? Of course. Okay. Yours or your opponent's? Does it matter? Um, it's, uh, it's yours. Okay. Yep. But when you raise the Moai, you're placing it on these geysers. So unbeknownst to us, we're raising these to pray to the gods to hopefully stop the volcanic activity. But in reality, we are increasing the pressure under the earth, which is creating fissures in the ground. Right. And maybe even a volcano is going to erupt. Okay. So whenever you raise a moai, a fissure appears, and you have to roll the volcano die to see if an eruption comes. And it sure did, didn't it? And if it does, yeah. then you'd randomly pick one of the volcanoes. Yes. In this case, eight yep. would erupt, and more lava flow would then be created, and one more would go right here. Oh, I see. So this was number eight. So this this particular volcano is Correct. erupting more. Okay, got it. Got it. Got so it, got it erupted. Okay. More things happen. But the thing. So the thing is, is as you're moving along into this area, and such, you're using these lava flows to build next to volcanoes. So let's say I had a village here. Seems like here. the safest place, really. Yes. If yeah. that volcano erupted, it would actually destroy sure. my village. Right. Is next to volcanoes the only place you can build a building? It's only where the the lava flow is right. actually oh, these located. Pieces here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So like there isn't a lava flow here, so you're just replacing the lava flow with yes. your your structure. Gotcha. So as you, as you go, everything happens, everyone goes. But the big thing is is this: if an area ever becomes completely let, let's say I did this way. Mm, sure. Uh, surrounded. Completely surrounded yeah. by fissures. And I, you, you wouldn't do this, for example, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But that whole area breaks off and sinks into the sea <laughs> okay. and is sure, destroyed. Sure. So we would actually remove this whole, whole tile disappear. Okay. from the board. Now the game itself goes into endgame. You would, might not intentionally do that, but an opponent or something could well, maybe? And, or? And, well, 
this is going to continuously reduce in size yeah. until we only have two volcanoes left. Okay. So you're gaining points while you build structures, but at the same time, let's say yellow, you, you moved in here and you ran up here and you just started building a huge civilization over here. I could be like, you know what? I'm just gonna break that whole section off? I'm just gonna go and create fissures all down here yeah. and just destroy all of your stuff. <laughs> <Right>. Now, <laughs> so is this a building game or a destroying game? It's kind yes, of a, I think yes. It's the <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. I think we're definitely gonna have a lot of destruction. Yeah. A lot. There, there is a little bit of cutthroat yeah. nature in here because the 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 way to get to the end of the game is to yeah, break, just apart. break it down. You just want to make sure you're breaking off the parts that don't matter to you as much. Exactly. As your okay. So and and basically your points that are scored are while you're going. But yes. at the end of the game, if you are you have chains of Moai yep. next to each other, you gain multiplier two points okay. for each additional See, So Moai every time and, you're doing this yes. thing that gives you points, you're doing something destructive, but you always have an incentive to keep doing those things because they are giving you more points. Yes. All right, so and, you're sort of working against your own best interests. Yeah, so <laughs> and that's kind of the, the just overview of the, yeah. the top level of the game. There are more uh, things. There are perk tokens that allow you to save things. Um, different interactions, basically, you can create more settlers to start going out. And yeah, how do these create. come out? Um, that you, you use an action point to okay. gain one, okay. and then you can gain another action point uh, for two then. So that one costs one, this yeah. one costs two, this one would cost three. I see, okay. So the more prayer tokens you try to amass, the, the And these you can use to sort of protect yourself? Yes, or? so okay. if you have uh, the first um, villager, yeah in an area that breaks off, yeah. swims to shore. Okay. But if you have more than one villager, they all drown unless you use prayer tokens to save, save them. them. Okay. Um, also, you could use a prayer token to move a Moai to a legal space if it's available, right, right. or save a village as well. Okay. So. so you do have some defensive options in yes. here. If you want to try to... Yeah, you can try <laughs> to mitigate it a little this is, bit. Yeah, things are going to get destroyed. Yeah, I get, things are going message. to definitely and get destroyed. And you said this is available now. How many players does this play? This is two to four players. Okay. Um, and uh, it's available pre-release now. Right. Um, MSRP is forty nine ninety nine. Okay. And it's going to be available all the way to retail in uh, in August. Excellent. So. Well, Tony, thanks so much for the very fun and entertaining overview of this game. And all of you, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you.